honorable ministers, members of the high level panel, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first, let me say uh, it's a really great pleasure to uh, be here. Uh, first in my personal capacity and also to represent the president uh, for the formal launch of the Emerging Nigeria Report. Perhaps one of the silver linings in the dark clouds of COVID-19 was the opportunity that it gave us to reflect on a future for our nation and our world, seeing especially how massive public health and economic challenges could so easily upend global dynamics. For Nigeria, the context is even more nuanced. There's the imminence of, zero oil, of a zero oil scenario. There are, of course, the imperatives of climate change, the threats to peace and stability, and the unity of our country. But on the other end of the scale are the evident opportunities, the possibilities of a demographic dividend, being the largest economy in Africa, having perhaps the fastest growing economies in entertainment and technology in Africa, and the list goes on. This was the setting for the commissioning of the Emerging Nigeria Project, a bold, unblinkered exploration of the great possibilities of our nation. The project provided the license to imagine a Nigeria which could uh, regardless of its past and uh, current challenges, and was able to engage the future with the best possible tools in human and material capital. So a high-level panel of accomplished individuals, and I had the pleasure and privilege of chairing that panel, and a technical team were charged with guiding the conversations and reflections of an assortment of local and international development experts and thought leaders on a wide variety of issues. The ultimate objective was to answer the question, what would it take to transform Nigeria? And to detail those thoughts in a report, the very intentional involvement of young people in the imagining process was a critical part of the entire concept. The panel was particularly sensitive to the notion that the that those to whom the future belonged have a greater stake than any other generation in conceptualizing that future. This particular segment of the imagining exercise took over nine months and has produced the report which we'll present shortly. The report itself identifies five pillars as the basis for building forward and transformation. And these pillars are ambitiously described as the five pillars of change. One is building a culture of innovation. Two, catalyzing a green economy. Three, building trust. Four, facilitating a national narrative. And five, leading Africa. The pillars of change and the entire report are only the beginning of the imagining process. The pillars provide the ideas, the big ideas, around which we hope that dialogues and conversations will develop. From here on, it will now be up to us, civil society groups, public and private sector think tanks, professional and vocational associations, social, cultural and political groups to open up the dialogues and conversations. But two issues before I end. The, the first is to point out that the Imagine Nigeria project is not uh, a or the development plan. The national development plan, as we uh, all know, undertook a holistic review of sectoral performance across the entire economy in the recent past, and it goes on to specific objectives, actions, and targets for implementation alongside resource requirements. The emerging process, on the other hand, is a process of reflection and discussion by all Nigerians, especially young Nigerians, on what the future of our country should look like. Imagine Nigeria hopes to stimulate interest and attention around the issues, the five pillars, innovation, green economy, trust, leadership, and framing a more positive national narrative. It certainly does not speak to expected activities or targets or timelines, 
and resources, which are more the staple of uh, national development planning. Second is to commend our collaborators in this enterprise, the UNDP, especially Mr. Mohamed Yahya, the UNDP re resident representative in Nigeria, for working with us in conceiving the idea of an imagining project and for supporting it all the way. And those eight distinguished Nigerians who served on the high-level panel and who also deserve our commendation, they are Dr. Shamsuddin Usman, Senator Udo Odoma, I'm sorry, Dr. Maima Belo Osage, Dr. Zainab Usman, Mr. Mohamed Yaya, Prince Clem Agba, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, Ms. Mrs. Adiba Igodaro, Mrs. Toya Cole, and I'm sure I've already uh, mentioned uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mohamed Yaya, who, of course, as you know, is not a Nigerian, but uh, we all regard him as one. Uh, and of course, the steering committee consisting of Dr. Adeyemi Dipeolu, uh, Mr. Simon Ridley of the UNDP, and Mr. Tunji Lagna, and a technical team of young, accomplished Nigerians uh, led by Mr. Gwenga Deshida and coordinated by Lanre uh, Shashore. This has been an incredibly effective collaborative effort, and I commend you all. It is now uh, my pleasure and privilege on behalf of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to formally launch the Imaging Nigeria Project Report. Thank you all very much.